Well, welcome to one of the state's smallest wineries. In fact, we're not small, we're really tiny. Yeah, and even though our um, winery is small, the wines are big, and that's what matters. Come on and we'll go up to the tasting bar and try some wine. Just follow me. Well, we're gonna do a little wine tasting right now. What we have here is two different Zinfandels. These are both from the same vineyard. The vineyard is right here down the hill. But these wines are night and day as, as a result of different climate changes th that each year uh, produces. This wine right here, this is what I call a textbook West Pass Robles Zin. West Pass Robles Zin has some characters in it that other Zins don't have. In fact, it's got some very deep, spicy undertones like black pepper. It's got some good brambly raspberry fruit tones and some very nice hints of cedar. And this is our year 2003 Zinfandel that I'm pouring right now. This is a wine that I like to call a fruit bomb. It's got very concentrated fruit essences. The minute you stick your nose in there, the bouquet tells you that this is monstrous fruit. It's, uh, the fruit is propelled by a 17.2% alcohol content. But the funny thing is, you don't really taste the alcohol because the fruit and the alcohol is very well balanced. which is what you go for, because you don't want the alcohol to be prominent. You want, you want the fruit to be there first, backed up by the alcohol to get that kind of extra spice that the alcohol will provide. This is um, a um, Zinfandel cluster. Uh, Zinfandel grapes usually are very uh, tightly clustered. Um, Zinfandel is really a, um, uh, a Paso Robles successful grape. Uh, Zinfandel has been grown here in Paso Robles for over 125 years. And I often wondered why, why Zinfandel? Then one of the old timers told me that Zinfandel really uh, stands up to some very severe weather conditions. In fact, in late, in late spring, there'll be a hard frost and when that happens, the little flowers and the little buds will, 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 get, will die. But Zinfandel always sets a second crop. So even though we lose the first crop, the second crop kicks in in that maybe we lose no more than 10% of the crop, which is better than losing 100% of the crop, which you will do with other varieties. These days, to get the intensity of flavors and the intensity of color, we generally are, are looking to uh, harvest the grapes at like uh, between um, 25 and 27 percent sugar. And that gives us the um, fruitiness that we look for and that the Zin aficionados really like.